A very rare celestial object has been discovered in an image of the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. It is located about 10,000 light years from Earth in the constellation of Cassiopeia. The object, J005311, is a bright star nestled inside a gas nebula. It appears that this star is only emitting infrared radiation and no visible light. So let's find out what is going on. By analysing the spectrum of the emitted radiation coming off the nebula and the star, the team discovered something more remarkable. The solar winds being created by this star are some of the strongest ever detected. Normally huge stars have solar winds about 2000 kilometers per second, but this one was blasting out at a remarkable 16,000 kilometers per second. The spectrum analysis also indicates that the nebula and presumably the star are low in both hydrogen and helium. Now, the mainstream model for this event would be the merger of two white dwarfs with sufficient mass to reignite when they join together as a star. And when these mergers happen, it is expected to create very strong magnetic fields, which would explain the remarkably high speed solar winds. But what this model fails to explain is how this reignited star would then only output infrared radiation. So is there a plasma explanation for this type of star? Increased solar winds could be caused by there being a large sunspot covering a large portion of the sun, releasing the particles unhindered by the photosphere. The increased velocity could also be linked to a higher driving potential of that star, which again would link to the fact that the outer shell had been released. Now explaining the fact that it's infrared only is a little bit harder. In order to understand that, we have to understand how photons are actually emitted. So in most cases, photons are emitted when electrons become excited and jump up an energy level and then fall back down. And in the process of falling back down, they emit a photon. And the more energy that they are given, so the higher they jump, the higher they fall back, the higher the photon energy, and that will equate to a higher frequency. But if we are dealing with a plasma which is almost fully ionized, then this will not occur. So plasmas which are almost fully ionized will tend not to output any visible light. And in fact, the only types of light that they can emit, the types of photons they can emit, will tend to be the higher end of the spectrum due to other processes that are going on within the plasma. And this is to do with the particles changing direction, which can cause them to emit radiation. But this tends to be, because the energy required for that is higher, tends to be higher energy photons. So how do we explain the fact that it only emits in infrared radiation? Well, this could again be coming back to the fact that the star itself is fully ionized and therefore would not be emitting any normal photons in the normal range that we would see. And in fact, probably the energy is insufficient to excite them to the higher energy states, so X-ray and gamma rays. So what might have happened is that as the shell expanded, that plasma in the expanding shell would still have a certain amount of energy. And this plasma, as it moved further away, may well be cooling down and therefore the plasma would be turning back into neutral atoms, at least some of them. And in that process, some of those atoms may indeed therefore be radiating infrared radiation. And again, because it's not it's not being supplied with additional energy, we would not expect that to be anything other than infrared radiation. So as you can see, there is an explanation which would possibly fit within an electric universe model. Now I'm not saying it's perfect because I think there's a lot more fleshing out to be done. But again, we don't know an awful lot about this star. It has only just been discovered and by observing it for longer, we will be able to obtain more data to work on this model. But I certainly think there's an equivalent alternative model to the mainstream model. As always, be brave, be curious. The truth is waiting for us. Until next time.